a blessed weekend to us. There is one interesting expression that St. Paul actually exhorted to the Thessalonians in his first letter to them. And by the way, just for the record, the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians is the very first letter that Paul wrote in his ministry. No? So it's not the letter of Paul to the Romans. It's not to the Romans. It's not to the Corinthians. Because sometimes we base ourselves on the Bible and the list gives us Romans as the first letter. But in reality, the first letter ever written by Paul was his first letter to the Thessalonians because there is also a second letter. Now, when he said towards the end of the letter, he continuously reminded and exhorted the Thessalonians and even including us to progress even more. And what does this mean? to progress even more. This is very essentially connected to the very talents that were given differently in today's gospel reading. Now, sometimes people would say, Ah, motogi, taguan na tong one talent sa usa kay usa naman go yung na dawat. Ang usa lima, ang usa tulo niya, siya usa naman good. But of course, we have to take it in context because the master gave according to their ability. So, bisan pa ugusara ang gihatag, it actually has something to do with the worthiness, the capacity of the person. So, it is not that one is small or smaller or smallest compared to the five and the three. It is just like, remember the parable of the seeds? Okay, those who actually thrive, katong mga, mga liso na, 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 na buhi, na munga sila a hundredfold, a sixtyfold, a thirtyfold. No? Precisely because it is according to their capacity. Now what is so interesting about progressing even more is the very example and illustration of five adding more five to it. Three adding more three to it. Now last night, we had a very interesting talk on human boundaries, on healthy boundaries. Now I was actually pointing out on this idea of what does it mean? to respect healthy boundaries, but we are also encouraged to progress even more. This is now the very challenge of each and every Christian. We can progress, we can grow by being enterprising without, you know, touching the boundaries of other people. With whole respect, kindness, sometimes even frankness that we can say and tell the truth, but respecting the dignity of each individual. Because by doing such, we can go beyond certain boundaries without hurting anybody. Because God always wants us to progress, to go beyond the boundaries given to us. But then, these boundaries should also help us embrace and realize that beyond us, there is somebody who is waiting for us. And that is God himself. The final end of each and every one of us waiting for us, waiting for our coming, and of course, together with the saints of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all our works and progress are very well aided. We only have to be open to His will and to His power. Amen.